in New South Wales, government authorities announced the extension of the lockdown for Greater Sydney and other affected areas as COVID-19 outbreaks continue to rise in an alarming rate for the past weeks. Eagle News correspondent Justin Vicente reports. Justin? Australia was once renowned for its strategies in achieving COVID zero during 2020. However, due to the Delta variant surge within the community, it has forced the country into a hard lockdown, particularly Australia's largest city, Sydney, which was originally placed in a two-week lockdown, has now been extended to one month, with no definite confirmation on when it could possibly end. During late June, Greater Sydney entered its first ever lockdown in 2021 in an attempt to flatten the curve of the soaring COVID-19 cases. However, this first lockdown did not stop new daily cases from occurring, with numbers continuously rising by the day. Following this, Sydney's lockdown has since been extended until July 30, and just last Saturday, Premier Gladys Berejiklian has announced additional tighter restrictions as Sydney enters its highest peak of COVID cases it has seen in months. Only several types of businesses are now allowed to be open across Greater Sydney as lockdown restrictions drastically tighten. Though most stores are still available for click and collect or home delivery, stores which are considered essential for individuals to physically visit are supermarkets and grocery stores, as well as those for health and medical supplies. Furthermore, construction sites are now temporarily closed and employees must allow, if possible, for their employees to work from home or fines will apply. Indeed, with the current number of cases New South Wales has been facing these past couple of days, it is quite sceptical whether or not we will be exiting this lockdown by the said date. However, we can only hope that the restrictions will bring about a change to the current daily number of COVID-19 cases. Reporting from Sydney, Australia, this is Justine Vicente, Eagle News. We live in interesting times. Thank you, Justin. We hope everyone will be able to go through challenges safely.